All right, so how do you get Portugal citizenship now in half the time? Is it possible? Let me give you the practical take, right? So a lot of marketing agencies marketed the Portugal Golden Visa, five-year citizenship, that's how it was marketed or sold to people. A lot of people bought it. And in practical terms, it took a couple of years, up to a couple of years to get the permanent residency or the, let's say the residency, not permanent, just the residency. And then once you got this after two years, then you waited for five. So that made it seven. And then once you applied for citizenship, add two more years, you're talking about nine years to approximately 10 years of wait time. So not five, but 10. Now they're saying they want to make it really five because that's how they marketed it. And there's a draft that's ongoing which says that citizenship would be the time to citizenship. They're trying to count that from the time you apply for the residency. A lot of information is unclear. What does that really mean? A lot of information is unclear even in the draft. It's not approved. So it can be rejected. It can be modified, updated. More details can be added. So these approvals can take some time, but let's say in the best case scenario, this draft gets approved. Then what does really happen? Should you apply for the Portugal Golden Visa? Because now you're going to get citizenship in five years. We're going to discuss that. But before we deep dive into all of this, is this a good option? Should you prep for this one? Should you set aside the funds to go get the Portugal Golden Visa? Uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to turn on the bell notification and subscribe so you don't miss out on any latest developing updates, breakthroughs, rule changes, and a lot more. This is one of the fastest channels to break any news updates because I'm constantly interacting with my attorneys regarding different options globally and impacts to almost all the programs that are sold out there. Now, let's say they make this change. Normally, changes to have a bureaucratic process. It takes some time before anyone even approves it. But let's say this gets approved in the best case scenario. Then you're counting your time to citizenship immediately after applying for residency. So then that sets you on the five-year pathway. Don't forget that there's still a citizenship application that needs to be filed. There could be delays with that. In the best case scenario, it's taking up to a couple of years today, right, as we speak for the citizenship, grant of the citizenship. So that is, in my opinion, going to stay the way it is. So yes, this if this is implemented, you can reduce from that nine to 10 year time frame to the seven year time frame, realistically. Now, should you really get ready for Portugal? Now, they have taken out all the important criteria, the most lucrative criteria, or any beneficial criteria for the investors, they've made it harder. Now you're looking at investing in financial instruments, something like a mutual funds, right, that you're investing in. And you're talking about committing 500k in this economic downturn. So are you really expecting to invest in financial instruments and make money? Good luck to you if you are that bullish and that positive. It also depends upon what company you're hiring to make these investments. And a lot of people are going to hate me because others sell the Portugal Golden Visa always in a positive light. Most of the companies market this as something really great. Sorry, I don't like to do that. I like to present facts the way they are, whether you want to buy it or whether you don't want to buy it, it's up to you. I'm not just going to talk about all the good stuff. I want to talk about all the real stuff and then you decide if it is good for you or not. My overall verdict I don't think some anything has significantly changed. First, this rule has not gone live. Second, even if it goes live, it can reduce a couple of years, right, at best. And you can't completely take a couple of years because there's still going to be some time that it's going to take for you to make the investment, get your forms ready, and then apply for the residency. So that time frame still is going to be approximately six to seven months. So let's say a year Worst case scenario, five years of wait, two years to citizenship, then you're still talking about seven and a half to eight years time frame. So yes, it could take a couple of years off only if this 
monarch rule becomes final. Overall, the Portugal golden visa is not that attractive, even if this goes live. There are other instruments and other residencies and other programs that are much better, in my opinion. And if you are interested in starting any other residency or this residency, you can always click the link in the description. We can discuss what is the best case fit in your particular circumstances because everyone's situation is different. The reason I'm saying everyone's situation is different because you come from a different country. You have different laws that you're dealing with. You have two countries in the mix which are very different, right, from any anyone else. Someone is dealing with America. Someone else is dealing with the Russia. So you're really talking apples to oranges here. So it all depends upon what you're looking for and what you want to get started with. All right, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subbed and catch you in the next one.